So today is bank holiday Monday. I don't usually work on a Monday anyway, so it's just my usual day off. And then I'm back at work tomorrow, which is Tuesday. So I work Tuesday to Saturday. Today I'm going to the cinema. Um, I'm really, really, really excited. This is the second time I'm going to the cinema this year, but today we're going to be watching Fantastic Beast and The Secrets of Dumbledore. I, I would just mention that yes, my hair is a different color. It's been years since I've had blonde hair. If you're a long time viewer, then you would remember years Years ago I always had blonde hair. I think back in 2018 I ended up going back to like a chocolate brown colour and then after that I've just had really dark hair. So this is from Topshop and it's such a gorgeous colour. This is from Sheen and then I've just got my Primark high-waisted jeans on. I think my sister's messaging me and I've just got my Doc Martin boots on. I haven't worn my Doc Martins since last year. I probably autumn when I got them. I think I've only worn them like two to three times just because they take ages to put on and I've not really gone anywhere other than to work um, to actually wear these. So I thought I would put them on today because I had time and I've still got to break them in a little bit. Um, the socks that I wear with my Doc Martens are actually the Doc Martin socks. I've got two different pairs. So when I've worn my Doc Martens, my feet haven't like ended up hurting by the end of the day. Um, and I think that's just because of the socks that I'm wearing. My niece has just texted me saying that they're leaving now. So I'm pretty much ready. I just need to pack my bag. And speaking of shit, it wasn't a massive order. Um, and there's some stuff that I need to return. I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. I got this ruler. Um, I thought this was really nice. So these are the stuff that I'm keeping. I got this gorgeous dress. It's so, so, so beautiful. I think this was like £20. Um, it's a gorgeous dress. And they had different colours. It's quite long. So I'll probably have to wear like a short heel with it. But I'm definitely going to find somewhere to wear this. And then I got two floral tops. So I got this one and this one. The print on this one is gorgeous. Um, I'm going to try them on again today and just see whether I want to keep them or not. And then typical me, I do this all the time, but I've ended up ordering <laughs> two of the same thing. So one of these tops are going back and I ordered four bralettes, two of them exactly the same because I'm just an idiot like that. So the one that I've currently got on, I ordered two, so I'm going to be sending one back. There's one which looks really weird, so I'm sending that back. So I'm just quickly packing some stuff into um, this bag now before my sister gets here. Uh, I'll leave my phone out in case my sister messages me then I can see it. This drawer is such a mess. I really need to um, sort it out. But this is where I keep like my skincare and like deodorant and stuff like that. And do you remember these CBD gummies I showed you in my last vlog? Well, they are finished. I finished the whole thing. This is only the small bottle. They do um, a bigger one. So I would definitely like to get the bigger one because these are really, really nice. Um, I'll have a link in the description as well as a discount code where you can get, I think it's 25% off their website. Um, but yeah, these are really, really good. My Body Shop Cream run out. I think it was the Oils of Life. So yesterday I started using this by Essence. This is a really, really, really nice cream. I've got a few other things as well. So I've got a face mist. I've got um, this face serum and also this primer serum. I should have tried this today. So I've got all of these to um, to try out. Oh, and there's also, I think this is like a face mask. This is a sleeping mask. So I've got this Cadbury's Mini Eggs uh, chocolate bar, which I opened yesterday. Didn't actually eat it over Easter and it's really, really, really good. three Fantastic Beast films I would say it's my least favourite and I feel like it just wasn't the same without Johnny Depp. I would definitely recommend watching it though um, but I would have to say it wasn't as exciting as I thought it was going to be. 
after work I actually have a date which is really exciting it's the first date so he's actually working in Croydon for the next couple of months so he usually drives down on like a Monday and then he drives back home on a Friday usually and then he comes back for like the following week I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to stay with him for the evening and then go to work from the hotel that he's staying in and also decide whether we're going to go out for a meal or just order like a takeaway or something I usually always wear these leggings these are my favorite pair of leggings um because they're not super thin so they're not like really see-through and they're really nice and comfortable and they just fit my legs perfectly they're not baggy at the back or anything and they're just a really nice length too so I love these leggings so I bring quite a few things it's mostly snacking bits and bobs because I have two 15 minute breaks I have one in the morning then I have my hour lunch and then I have a 15 minute break so I usually bring two apple juices because I'll have one on my first break and one on my lunch break I've just been getting these ones from uh, Sainsbury and then in here I've got my coffee which looks disgusting um, but it's just a coffee sachet with sugar and um, a caramel syrup and then in here I've just got my cheese roll a blueberry muffin in here I've got another cheese roll in here in case I fancy having two for lunch I've got my skips and free cupcakes which I usually have on my first break I've just got my little shopper bag which opens up but this tote bag is amazing it just holds all the stuff that I need for the day. And this bag is from Amazon if you're wondering. So I'm just gonna be bring in my little jacket and this bag, I think I've got everything. I've just got changed into my PJs and I thought I would go ahead and show you guys what skincare products I brought with me because I'm about to take off my makeup. So I've got the Soap and Glory Vitamin E face wash and then I have the Essence um, face cream as well as this serum. I've been using them recently and they're really nice. And then to get off my um, eyeliner and mascara, I've just got this Body Shop Calomel, Calomel um, makeup remover. It's getting quite late, it's almost 10 o'clock. Um, we've had dinner, we had Chinese. So I'll give you a really quick hotel tour because he's not in the hotel at the moment, he's just gone down to have a smell. We're staying in the jewelry room, if I didn't already mention that. So I'm just in the bathroom. So when we come out, we've got the front door, we've got a little wardrobe. And then over here, we've just got the table, TV, and then the bed. And yeah, it's a really nice hotel. Got my work jumper in my bag. Thought I would wear jeans today because I don't think we're going to be getting many deliveries. And it's supposed to be quite warm this week. And I think today's supposed to be about 20 degrees. So in the hotel, we had two waters. So we had a sparkling and a still water. There were two packs of biscuits. So we got this ginger one and also this oat and honey. So I'm going to stop rambling to you guys and uh, make a start on getting ready to leave out because I don't want to be late for work. And I'm not sure when I'm going to catch up with you guys next because I feel like this vlog has just been quite choppy and all over the place hopefully it doesn't feel like that once I've edited it but I've just been picking up my camera here and there to sort of just chat to you guys really and keep you up to date with what I've been up to and stuff um but yeah I'm feeling really good today it's been a it's been a good week I think I've got two more days to go and then I can chill for the weekend and my apple watch is supposed to be arriving next week as well so i'll show you guys that when i get it i'm really looking forward to that arriving because it's going to be so 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 useful for when i'm at work but yeah so it's just here eight o'clock gonna go and put my shoes on so good morning it's just just after seven o'clock i just thought i would quickly chit chat to you guys while I do my makeup. So the foundation I'm using is just my usual Revlon Color Stay. I'm in the shade Caramel. So I did actually film some clips yesterday. If you're wondering why I'm looking over there, it's just because I've got, I've got my mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. I did actually film some clips yesterday morning, but looking back over them, I just decided to scrap those clips because I just didn't like how it looked. And it was quite dark and dull yesterday. But I did manage to get some cute clips of Bluebell in the morning. So I'm gonna insert those clips now just so that you can see how Bluebell is. So I haven't actually shown Bluebell at all in this vlog because whenever I've been vlogging she's been asleep. I just heard her digging away. She's gonna be two in a couple of months which is crazy. So I would have had her for two years in August because I got her back in August 2020 and I can't believe how fast it's gone. I feel like for the past few months she's been sleeping a lot more so she very rarely comes out and I'm gonna be cleaning out her cage very soon and she's just run off 
that into a hideaway. So the main reason why I wanted to film yesterday morning was just to update you guys on some really good news. So just really briefly, because I'm going to cover this in another video, like a separate video dedicated to this whole topic. Not too sure how that's going to plan out yet um, because I'm so busy with work where I'm working five days a week. I don't really have as much free time. Basically, I'm going to be getting another hamster. I paid for her yesterday. She's a hamster at my workplace. Um, I mentioned it on Instagram first. If you guys want to get more updates a bit faster than on YouTube, then definitely go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. I'll have it linked in the description. So my foundation is done. So I'm going to go in with my powder. So I've got a new powder and I've been using this for the past few weeks. It's the collection Primed and Ready Invisible Setting Powder. I usually use the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder or I like the Primark ones. But um, I prefer the Primark one over the Rimmel one, to be fair. However, I just don't go to Primark anymore. I feel like I've just sort of outgrown that shop. I liked it when I was like 18, 19, but I'm going to be 25 this year anymore. Not saying I'll never shop in Primark ever again, but the clothes just don't really appeal to me anymore. And sometimes they do have some really nice bits I see online, like the odd one or two bits, because I follow them on Instagram. So occasionally I might check out their page and they've got one or two things. It's like, oh, that's really cute. But the quality of their clothes is just not what it used to be and um, I prefer getting stuff off ASOS now really. Um, I did actually make an ASOS order. I made two because I wanted a pair of shoes to uh, go with that really nice dress. Like, And the shoes were nice but they just don't go with the dress and they're, and they're a little bit of a weird fit. I ended up ordering a size 5 which is my actual size. It came up really small and a lot of the reviews said it did as well and those shoes were a wide fit which I didn't realise when I ordered them but they're definitely not a wide fit. They just, they're just standard. So I ended up ordering a size 6. Where the buckle is, it just felt a little bit too big and I just thought, no, I'm not really going to wear these shoes. I'm going to send them back. Um, I also ordered two pairs of jeans, which didn't fit because they were too long. And I ordered a pair of Vans. Um, I accidentally ordered the wrong pair because I thought they were the ones that I tried on in store. But they were. I'm just using my usual blusher. This broke ages ago. Um, it's by Makeup evolution oh and i just realized i didn't really explain myself properly when i mentioned the hamster i'm pretty sure she was there before i started and this is like my seventh week and she's such a gorgeous hamster and whenever i give the animals food and water which is every other saturday um because i don't get to work them every single day because there's usually two other people that do it but if they're not in then i'll do it whenever i see her i just feel so sorry for her so last saturday when i was filling up the hamsters water bottles um something just said to me you have to get her so on sunday I spent eight hours reorganizing my entire bedroom because I do have a second cage. I have the detail, but I also have the Living World Eco Habitat, which is on the floor. If you guys have been following me for a long time and you've seen like some of my older hamster videos, then you would know um, I've had two cages for ages. But I ended up using the Living World cage as a bit of a storage container for my business stuff and also to store substrate. I have a small animal pet supply store called Tiny Paws and Co. I'll link it in the description. Um, and my room is really small, so it it just gave me a bit more you know extra space which was quite nice but it did make my room look a little bit cluttered and messy so on sunday i spent eight hours just trying to rehome everything that was in that cage and i managed to do it successfully and i don't actually buy hamsters from pet stores anymore it's been years since i bought a hamster from a pet store the last two i got from pets at home were cupcake and cashmere back in 2017 so i don't really agree with getting um hamsters from pet stores like pets at home for example because they don't get their hamsters from a very nice place however the pet shop i work in they get their hamsters from a really nice breeder which is so nice to know i need to get a wheel and everything like that um and i'll probably get her at the end of the week um i won't have everything i need for her cage that's something i will get over time over the coming weeks but she'll be better off with me at home than she is in the tiny cage at work so i finally got my apple watch yesterday it took just under two weeks to arrive i got it delivered to work so this is the watch that i went for it's the rose gold looking one and the size watch i got was the 44 millimeter in case you were interested and the watch strap i went for was the midnight sports band when i ordered it i thought it was black but it's actually navy blue which is 
isn't too bad because my uniform at work is navy blue and this is a band that I would wear at work. I have actually ordered some other bands to go with it. So I packed my bag, I've got my lunch and everything in my bag already. And then here I've got my work clothes, which I'm gonna throw on in a second. So as you can see, the cage is pretty much empty. I've just got two bags of substrate in there, which I'll probably end up using to fill up this cage. And I haven't shown you guys my makeup drawer in a long time. I never show you in here. My makeup collection is slowly getting smaller, which is quite nice to see. Cause I don't like having unnecessary amounts of makeup cause I always wear the same things. I'm just slowly trying to condense my makeup. And I have to remember, I'm gonna take this foundation out because I have to remember to use this up. Cause this is the bottle I was using before the bottle I'm using now, does that make sense? And there's a bit in there which will probably last me about a week if I scoop that out. So I don't wanna waste this. And then um, the other two foundations I've got in there. They're just backup ones really. So I've got the Revolution Conceal and Define, which is a really nice, um, which is a really nice foundation in F3. And then we've got the L'Oreal True Matte. This is an okay foundation, but I did prefer it when I used it a couple of years ago. And then I've got two concealers, which I haven't used yet because I don't really uh, use concealers anymore. So I've got this really nice Revolution one. And this one is also my Revolution. And I think this is maybe my second or third one of this. Let me just pop my mirror back. And these are the leggings that I was talking about earlier on in this vlog. So they're high-waisted leggings and they're super comfortable. I love them so much. I wish I knew where they were from because I got these from the charity shop and there's no tag in there. And I've just got a sports bra. I just used some of my favourite Ted Baker spray. So I'm yet to use all of these Ted Baker products. I got most of them for Christmas from my mum. We've got loads of body lotions here and there's stuff right at the back. Oh, and my phone is in this drawer. This is my soap and glory drawer, but it's kind of, it's kind of empty right now. And oh, I got a comment on my YouTube video which is really nice. I've got a few comments to reply to. Luckily um, most of the comments I get are quite positive and I try and get back to you guys as soon as I can. Sometimes it could take a little while when I'm really busy um, but it's almost eight o'clock so I need to need to leave out soon. Oh and I need to take my pill before I forget. I'm actually going to be bringing my iPad to work with me today so I can do some editing. I need to edit this vlog. This is my Apple Watch. Um, this is the band that I popped on it yesterday. And luckily I have an iPad, one of the newer iPads, because it's this charger port, the USB type C, I think it's called, rather than this one, which is actually for my old iPad. But I charge my uh, iPhone with this charger and my AirPod. And this is the watch face I've chosen. And there's also this one as well. So I'm just putting the official Apple Watch strap on. So now that it's lighter outside, I'll try and show you the colour a bit more. So it's not black, it's a very dark navy blue. So it works very well with my uh, work jumper, which is perfect. So I don't think I'll bring my jacket with me today. I think it is supposed to rain later, so I don't know if I'll bring an umbrella or not, but it hasn't been that cold recently, so I don't think I'm gonna bring my jacket. I think I'll leave it and I'll see how today goes with my watch. And I do have really tiny wrists, but I've got it on the third one. And tomorrow I've got a date with Danny, the same guy I went on a date with last Thursday. Can't believe it's been a week already. So this time we're probably gonna go for dinner, most likely go to Nando's and then I'll spend the night with him because the next day he's gonna be going back to Liverpool after work. So the only time I really get to see him is in the evenings at the moment, just because of how our work schedules are. And obviously he doesn't live in my area. And I might bring my camera with me. I'm not really gonna like film anything, but I think it will be quite nice to maybe get a couple of clips that doesn't include being in my bedroom. Um, I feel like this vlog has probably been so boring for you guys because I've just been in my room most of the time. I'm at work so much and then obviously on my two days off if I'm doing something, if I'm going out then I'll bring you guys with me but sometimes on my days off I'm just at home. It's not really anything to film but yeah I'm gonna shut up now, pack my iPad and head out to work. Oh, and one more thing really quickly. Um, I did say I will show you guys the vans. So these are the ones that I got in case you were interested. I got them in a four and a half. So if you're size five and smaller, you can actually fit into the kids' shoes, which are cheaper and you get more color options. But if you're a size six and above, you have to get the adult shoes. This is actually my first pair of vans, but like I said, I'm gonna be sending them back because I got the wrong ones. But they literally just look like plimsolls. These were not the ones I wanted. Um, I think the ones I tried on in the shop was suede. I just thought I'd quickly show you them in case you were interested. They just didn't look right on me. And I did get these off ASOS. They were on sale for £44, which isn't too bad.
time today is Thursday and I'm just about to head out to go to work. So I've decided to pop on this cropped black jumper. I think this is from Boohoo and then my daisy jeans that I was wearing earlier on in the week because these are the jeans I like to wear to work and then I've got my work jumper in my bag because I think I'm going to leave my jumper at work today. I've got my date with Danny later so after work we're going to Nando's. So I've had to pack double lunch and snacks for today because if I go straight to work from the hotel I'm going to need my food for today. Um, so it's all a bit complicated really and when it comes to like packing and all that kind of stuff I get so stressed out even if it's just for one night I just don't like to forget things but hopefully I've packed all the right food bits and I did make salmon and rice for dinner yesterday so I'm having the other half of that today for lunch and then this morning I've also started doing some of my packing kind of so here I've got my night dress this is the one I actually had on last night so I had a bath last night and then I popped this on so I've only worn it for one night so I'm gonna wear this again so this is the same as the black one that you saw me wearing last Thursday um but this is just the pink version and I've got my skin care so the bits to wash my face my toothpaste and um, when I get back home I'm going to pack my face sponge and my toothbrush and I'm going to be using this really cute toiletries bag and this is by number seven I actually got this from the charity shop and this was only two pounds and it was brand new as well um, and it's really nice it's such a beautiful dusky pink so I'm going to be putting my toiletries in here um, as well as my makeup so I'll be able to fully pack everything once I get back home later so once I finish work today I'm going to come back home fix my makeup a little bit pop my lashes on and I also need to quickly change my Apple watch band because I'm going to wear the silicone one to work because that one feels really 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 comfy on my wrist this one feels comfy too but when I've got the silicone one I kind of forget that I even have the watch on my wrist but it was really nice using the watch yesterday I've still got to set up the cellular thing so I can use it without my phone being with me um but I was able to like get my messages and stuff so I've got a few things to still set up on the watch but so far I'm really 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 enjoying it Uh, I managed to fit everything in this bag. You can actually fit quite a lot in here and I just love the colours on this bag. It's so pretty. I'm so excited I can finally use this because I've had it for a while. I've had it since last summer. So I've got my food for today but I've also got some porridge in that top container for breakfast tomorrow. If you guys have been watching me since I would say last summer when I started working at the RSPCA charity shop there was one manager who worked on the Sunday and Monday which I told you guys I did not like because she really wasn't a nice person and no one likes working with her which is why it was only me working with her and um, whereas the rest of the week there's always quite a few people working because it's just such a nice place to work at but it's not nice to work with her. She ended up coming into my workplace yesterday and I had to serve her. She bought some flowers because we sell flowers as well. And um, obviously she recognized me and it was like, oh, I was hoping I would never have to see her again because I've not seen her since before Christmas. So it's, it's been a while. I'm gonna head out now because it is, oh, it's 11 past eight. So I need to rush off to work or else I'm gonna be late. Um, I'm gonna leave you guys here today. I did bring you guys with me uh yesterday so hopefully you enjoyed seeing a few more clips that wasn't inside my bedroom but yeah i'm gonna head off now and i will speak to you guys when i get back from work vlog is just all over the place and I feel like the clips that I filmed over the past couple of days have been quite choppy because I haven't really had a chance to go back and edit. But it's been a really long day because obviously I was with Danny this morning and he dropped me to work and it was quite nice to have Nando's too because I haven't had that since last September. So I've been at work, my feet are killing me because it's pretty much the end of the week for me. Um, I'm working tomorrow and then I'm off for two days. I did pop into Sainsbury's on the way home so I'll quickly show you guys what I picked up. So the first thing I got were these cartons of apple juice. Um, so there's just six in here and I needed more to bring to work tomorrow. I also picked up this apple juice and then I also went ahead and picked up some melon slices. So on Sunday I'm going to be setting up a temporary cake for Penelope and then on Monday my sister's going to come with me um, to work to pick her up and I'll also pick up some substrates and stuff because we're going to be in the car and I will be filming a vlog that day as well so that will probably be my next video. So I'll see you guys in my next vlog so bye for now.